Students can have different sexual orientations. We found Steve and Greg Lofts in New York. As identical twins, they had the same upbringing, have the same DNA, and yet Greg is gay and Steve is straight. When you meet people and they find out you're gay and you're not, what do they say? Are you sure? How can that be? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a, everyone is curious about that. There were signs even when they were little kids. Their mother told us Steve loved sports and the outdoors, while Greg liked helping out in the kitchen. But it wasn't until high school that Steve became convinced Greg was gay. Did you say anything to him? or? I did, actually. I think the way I worded it was something like, you know, Greg, if you're gay, it's okay. I'll still love you the same. And he gave a very philosophical answer. He said something like, oh, I'm, I love the soul of a person and not the physical being. And in my mind, I was like, yep, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready just yet. Does this prove that it's not genetic? What it proves is it's not completely genetic. They have the same genes. So does that bring us back to the mother and the father? No. But that's environment. That's environment, but that's not the only environment. There's also the environment that happens to us while we're in the womb. And scientists are realizing that environment is much more important than we ever thought it was. And this newborn rat pup, oddly enough, may hold important clues to what happens in the womb. Dr. Mark Breedlove at Michigan State University says he can take this male rat and make it behave like a female for the rest of its life and vice versa for a female just by altering the hormones it's exposed to right at birth. Because rats are born underdeveloped, that's roughly the same as altering a third trimester human fetus in the womb. But first, he said, I'd need a crash course in rat sex. He's he? a Romeo. He's Romeo. Oh, look at him. Male rats like Romeo mount any rat that comes their way. In the mating process, the female, that's her being dropped on top of him, performs something called lordosis, where she lifts her head and rump. Now, what if Romeo here goes after a male? The male will seem profoundly indifferent. But Breedlove says he can change all that. He gave this female rat a single shot of the male sex hormone testosterone at birth. Now grown up, she will never perform lordosis. But this male rat will. Take a look. He was castrated at birth, depriving him of testosterone. So you created a gay rat. I wouldn't say that these are gay rats, but I will say that these are genetic male rats who are showing much more feminine behavior. So this could be the answer to the genetic question. It may not be genes. It could be hormones. That's exactly the, the, the question that we're all wondering, this business of testosterone having such a profound influence. Does that have some relevance to humans? While biologists look at hormones for answers about human sexuality, other scientists are looking for patterns in statistics. And hard as this is to believe, they have found something they call the older brother effect. The more older brothers a man has, the greater that man's chance of being gay. What? Say that again? The more older brothers a man has, uh -huh. the greater the likelihood that that man will be gay. Is that true? That is absolutely true. Absolutely true? Absolutely. If this comes as a shock to you, you're not alone. But it turns out it's one of the most solid findings in this field, demonstrated in study after study. And the numbers are significant. For every older brother a man has, his chances of being gay increase by one-third. Older sisters make no difference, and there's no corresponding effect for lesbians. A firstborn son has about a 2% chance of being gay, and the numbers rise from there. The theory is it happens in the womb. Somehow, the mother's body is remembering how many boys she's carried before. Mm -hmm. The favorite hypothesis is that the mother may be making antibodies when she sees a boy the first time and then affect subsequent boys when she carries them uh, in you utero. Mean, you mean like she's carrying a foreign substance? And if you think about it, a, a woman who's carrying a son for the first time, she is carrying a foreign substance. Yeah. There are some proteins encoded on his Y chromosome that her body has never seen before and that her immune system would be expected to regard as invaders. And so, so that's the, a theory. That's the theory. It's so still not proved, and it gets it. even stranger. Because One of the things we've only found out lately is that older brothers affect a boy only if the boy is right-handed. 
If the boy Wait is... Wait a minute. I know. If the boy is left-handed, if his brain is organized in a left-handed fashion, <laughs> it doesn't matter how many older brothers he has. His probability of being gay is just like the rest of the population. You can give yourself a headache trying to apply all the theories to real people. Greg and Steve uh, Lofts are both right-handed, and they do have an older brother, so maybe that's why Greg is gay. But they also have several gay relatives, which suggests it could be in the genes. Except where does that leave Steve? Adam and Jared, fraternal twins, have older brothers, but they're ambidextrous. And then there's a the question of how something in the womb could affect one twin, but not the other. There are many more questions at this point than answers. But the scientists we spoke to are increasingly convinced that genes, hormones, or both something is happening to determine sexual orientation before birth. Adam has come up my, with his own theory. I, I was supposed to be a girl in my mom's stomach, but um, my mom wished for all boys, so I turned into a boy. Do you wish you were a girl? You do? Uh-huh. Do you think there was anything that you could have done that would have changed Adam? I could have changed Adam on the outside to where he would have showed me the macho boy that I would want as a boy. But that would not change who he is inside, and I think that would have damaged him a lot more. This is an interesting question. Are you both proud of the way you are? Yep. Both of you. And you're so uh -huh. different. Mm -hmm. you both. Love your look? Or change your look? With LensCrafters 30-Day Unconditional Guarantee, 